Welcome to a YouTube live today. I am um, going to share some painting with you and show you a demonstration of how fun one stroke painting is. And if you've ever wanted to learn how to paint, I teach you a quick and easy way to do flowers and landscapes and snowmen and more. And so I'm excited to be on with you today and share how fun um, this lesson can be for you. Okay. I have, hello, Miss Doris. <clears throat> I have some discounts and some fun um, products to share, share with you today. And so happy Thanksgiving to all of you who just had their holidays. Uh, good morning. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> Maybe two days after Thanksgiving. Um, hello, hello. It's good to see you guys. I um, was just painting and people said, you were sad. I was just into my painting. So I need to be a little bit more upbeat, I think. Um, good afternoon, Cheryl. Hello, guys. Thanks for being on. Don't you love it that we can see people all over the world right here on YouTube? I just think that's so cool and what technology has done, what makes it possible. Um, I just want you guys to know, anybody out there who always wanted to learn how to paint and never thought they could, um, hello, Miss Grace. I wanted you, um, and Romalda, thank you for coming on. What a surprise. I didn't know if you guys are out there Black Friday and Saturday shopping. Um, I went out once yesterday because I needed more lights for my tree. And I thought, what the heck did I just do? I didn't even think about what the day was. And it was not very smart. So uh, we learned a long time ago that we're not going to go stay all night and try to do those crazy shopping days. But um, I'd rather be home painting. What about you? Finished my shopping list this morning. Woohoo! That is great. Um, I think it's even greater that you could paint some Christmas cards, you could paint some gifts, and you could give some of the gifts that I'm sharing with you today um, to your family and friends that um, would really love to learn how to paint. So the first thing I want to share with you, my website is onestroke.com. So it's all spelled out. Can you all see this? Onestroke.com? Nope. It's, it's backwards. So let me put it on uh, backwards to me and right to you. Okay, so here you go. Hello from Gail Strand. Hello, hello. All right, so see that onestroke.com? Onestroke.com. All right, so what I have for you, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> was getting ready to paint a shirt for a craft show. Yay, that's a good thing. Uh, you want to paint it going and coming so that they can say, oh my gosh, where'd you get that? And you can say, I did it myself. All right. So this is a special that you have only through till tonight at midnight. So the special ends tonight at midnight. So it's 20% off of anything that's $50 or more um, of the product that you purchase. Okay. So I just want to share this with you. Um, and when you spend $50 or more, you put in this code. Now, listen, I say this every time and the people still don't hear me trying to paint on glass ornaments. First time painting on glass, just put lots of paint on that brush. Okay. So I want you to understand that when you check out and you don't put in your, your one stroke advantage code, or you don't put in the code I'm giving you now, when you check out before you pay. I can't fix it for you. All right. And so you need to be able to stop and say the code, where do I put the code? Put the code in at the checkout before you put your charge card. Okay. So just let you know, coming to convention already excited. <gasps> awesome, Susan. That's going to be fun. We're going to have a great one too. I'm busy plotting my projects. All right. So here's the code. It's nine. 10, 50, 11, 9, 10, 50, 11. And you go to onestroke.com and you put in any of the stuff that you want to purchase that I'm going to be showing you today and, and more. It expires. The printer wasn't working very good tonight at midnight. And as you save 20% on $50 or more. All right. There's a very few things that it doesn't work on, but everything else it does. So just let you know that. 
All right, do you know if the mop brushes came in? Yes, yes, they are, right? All in stock, everything all in stock ready. All right, have you already put your in your order? If not, get it in. All right, I've got rake, mops, and stencil brushes. All right, um, all right, so I want you, if you go to onestroke.com, this is exciting, so listen. Because for two days of lessons at 4 p.m., two different days, the 7th and 8th, I do an hour to an hour and a half lesson for both days together is $20. So it's called Discover One Stroke. This new Discover classes. I had one in fall and we did all these cards and all. And this year, I mean, this year is my first time to do a winter one. So it's Discover One Stroke on the 7th and 8th of December at 4 p.m. All right. So I want you to see um, if you're on my onestroke.com site and you go to the very top, there's a banner. If you click the banner, it shows you everything, explains everything, times, unless you see up close. But I want you to see these are the ornaments we're going to do, but you could do them on cards. So here's the two ornaments, all right? And here's the other two ornaments. There, there you go. So we do four ornaments the first day. And the second day, we do a plate that can be, I, I glued it last year. I glued them onto a candlestick and made it as a serving tray. So it's hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. <laughs> So uh, it's just a fun little snowman. All right. So that is available. So go check it out. It's the 7th, 8th of December. So you still have time. It's $20 to take the lesson. And there, if we have surfaces left, those are also, you can click and try to order them there. Okay. Uh, love these and signed up. Thank you, Cheryl. I want to try either one, Stroke Advantage or Patreon, but I can't decide which one to do. Okay, so that's a good question, Kathy. So One Stroke Advantage gives you 20% off anything you ever order. All month, you have a new code every month that you're a member. Um, you also get four less painting lessons, um, and that's usually on Monday nights. And then you have a premier one that you can join and do. But anyway, those four lessons... And the discounts start at $9.99 a month. I, I, I never know if it's $9.95 or $9.99, but that's what it should be. All right. And then, um, so your advantage is that extra 20% off anything you purchase. All right. So that's that. Then Patreon, Mark and I have a podcast where we get on together and talk about the painting world, the one stroke painting world where you can make money, how to charge, how to sign up for things, how to plan out your business plan. If you want to do that with, with painting and just how to build a business. And then I teach Donna's corner each month. And on that, I um, share with you different products and things that you can use with one stroke um, that are available, how to stencil with one stroke, all kinds of fun things. I am thankful that you are generous to share your talents with others. God bless. Thank you. And then the um, then I do a growth class. And so with that growth class, like we painted, you can still get it if you join this big oversized. And we worked on it for three different months so that we did slow. The growth means I'm going to go slow and detailed with everything that you're going to paint. So I've done all kinds of fun things there. So there's the difference. Um, of the two is you on on one stroke advantage you also can go up to 12 oh i don't know i better not say numbers 1995 will get you not only your patterns and all that you get um that you can download but you also get step-by-step -step, uh, worksheets that you print off or step-by-step -step pictures when we get through with landscapes and then the hydrangea level, the top level gives you a two hour lesson also, plus everything else. All right. So hopefully that helps you understand it, understand it. then decide. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need to do. I can't do it for you. Okay. So what I want to share with you next, I've got a special that I'm going to demonstrate and paint with you. But I just want you to see, we got more people that just came on. See the special. All right. This is only through midnight tonight. So I'm going to keep sharing that. 
All right. So one of the things I have are different kits. And on Plaid, we've created all these different kids. Plaid's the paint company. And we've got multi-surface paints is, is my go-to. But we have enamel paints for glassware. We have all kinds of other um, go-to uh, products that I like to use a lot. And all of those um, are made by Plaid, my paint company. And so uh, it's not my paint company, but it's mine that I use all their products. So we created Let's Paint program and at Plaid. And so you can go to YouTube under Plaid Craft and watch every lesson for the last four years that I've had. So that's a lot of lessons. But what's re really nice about that is you, if you have the kit that we're going to paint with, if you have the kit in front of you, what happens, this is my... One of my favorite that people tell me the most that they like because it teaches you designs. Uh, taught me so much. Thank you. Uh, so it's called Wreath of the Month. All right. So let me tell you what you get in the box. All right. So you get a kit in a box and um, you can use this discount that we got today. Let me share with you. So here is a hand painted folder. That's going to organize you. And inside of it, you can slide all your teaching guides. So you have 12 lessons for the month. And all the lessons by, by month are going to be right here. And this is my actual size stroke that you paint on your project. So you practice along with me in here. And then you paint it on any kind of wreath, canvas, whatever you want. So these are, I got UV coatings, so you paint on it, you wipe it off and paint again. So that's all about the wreath of the month is an awesome kit. So it teaches you how to lay out a design. It teaches you the colors and designs for every month of the year. So, um, and just to let you know, if you order them, we have very few, just a handful of the wood surfaces at our, and our warehouse ready to ship if you would like those also okay so so there are the wreaths that you're going to do the different wreaths for every month okay and we even have a pretty one for christmas right there okay so that's also what goes in your folder all right so first of all i base coat my wreaths my canvas whatever with my spongers you get these uh one stroke pound uh, sponge painters all right. You also get a set of my value pack set of brushes. All right. And you're going to get all, all of these paints. I think there's like 12 paints. There's treasure gold. That's like $5.99 by itself. Um, and floating medium. All right. I should count. I should count. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, 12. 12 colors. And all of this comes in a nifty box and you get those free lessons, all right? So this, I think, is like $89.95. And um, it is there with all of this. And there's other ones. There's a flower of the month, which gives you all the birthday flowers. There's all kinds of fun ones. So go check them out. I don't know if I'll ever get them back into the box. But anyway, there we are. So it's a whole less paint box ready to ship to you. And we have these in stock ready. So we, we made sure we got the most used ones. All right. So you can also, on my site, all a newbie, I paint do much better since I've been teaching, uh, using teaching guides. They're worth every penny. You'll get them. You will get back with what you sell. Oh, thank you. That's nice, Holly. All right. So, so you can buy your, my sponge painters and like this one is the shape of a brick. So I can make bricks in the background. I do a lot of wall painting with them. And this has a nice finish on one side that I put my fingers there. Cause when you're using a regular sponge, your fingers go through it and make finger marks. I made this so it won't do that. All right. I can also, if I base coat wood, I can knock off the raised grain with that green hard scruffy edge. You can also buy with this discount my um, value pack brushes. And these are called the value pack, but they're 10 brushes. They're my most used 10 brushes. But then if you want higher end brushes, good, better, best, those are 
uh, better than any brushes that are out there for one stroke. And these are the best. And so we came up with these uh, two years ago and they're my signature brushes and you're getting the lavender pretty handles. Hello, hello, Miss Anne. And you are getting my natural hair scruffy brushes that are my, my creation. You get all the flat sizes there. You get the angle, filbert, two script liner, round brush, a uh, rake brush, and a fa um, fan brush. 13 brushes. So these are basically what I do use. And so I just want you to know we got all those. And, oops, oops, oops. and these are the new stencil brushes that I got in. We've sold out four times. They just showed up last week. And so this is three brushes that are killer. And I just want you to know, if you've never stenciled before, I use it a lot for backgrounds. And I had my dear friend, Paula McCoy, who makes brushes, make me a 12, 16, and a 20. And they're all synthetic nylon for stenciling, so they stay perfect. And they don't get underneath the stencil and mess up. All right. So let me show you some things that you're going to love. And then I'm going to do my painting with the A to Z kit. Okay. Paid for itself in a week after I bought it. See? Oh, how awesome. I'm going to show you the A to Z, but then I'm going to paint it as soon as I show you my stencils. Okay. So I know you guys, welcome to the group and you'll like it with a family of painters having fun, fun, fun. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Um, thank you, Anne. She's Rose and Kathy is Tulip. Yay. So be sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel here on YouTube. Um, I teach you for free on Wednesdays. I do relax and paint. It comes out at five in the morning. And on Fridays at noon, I do practice strokes. And if you're out there, so many out there said, Donna, or ma'am, I know they're probably from some other country. They go, ma'am, please tell me how I learned this technique. So for all you guys who said, teach me, please, how do I start? Um, under practice strokes, I do tutorials. They're usually pretty short and you can go watch them over and over and over. So it's my most watched shows. So you can go to the very beginning, which tells you how to use a double loader and how to use a basin, how to use the palette. And then it shows you all types of how you use each brush and what you use it for, how to double load, how to put all your goodies together. Look, this is the lid that goes on this double loader. You dampen this, see those holes? And you put that in and this will hold paint up to 30 days. So I don't ever have paint that lasts that long, but love the stencil brushes. They have helped me a lot. If you're out there and saying, I can't stencil, it always looks like a mess. If you watch, I just put one on Friday, yesterday. If you watch that tutorial on how to do my butterflies, so I did these butterflies. If you watch that, you will, there's tricks that I talk to you about over and over that you need to do. I'm, look at these. These are my new butterfly stencils. But I want you to see, here's a couple different colors. And I show you very quick and easy how to make this happen. And here is if you want to draw it. I don't know if you can see that. If you want to just draw the shape from the stencil, here's if you want to use a stencil to stencil it and you are not good at detail. All right. So I'm going to show you that. We also have, um, um, what else am I going to show you? Oh, different stencils. So let me show you that kit because it's going to come up. And I taught you about surfaces just a minute ago. And I also have these wonderful gallery glass surfaces. I have so much to show you. I'm being bad. I'm bouncing all over the place. But uh, we also have these big, these big gallery glass. Okay. They're for gallery glass. But I have to tell you, um, I use them for all these ornaments and stuff. See right there. They come, the ornaments come in three in a packet, but they can also be sun catchers. So it's kind of fun. And these are big ones with chains on them. Those are sold really an oval and a round. So go check that out under surfaces or under gallery glass. So let me show you two more surfaces that are beautiful. And there's a packet that you could order to go with this. And it's called the new Christmas 
um, two project packet. And so look at this. I did ornaments on here that were uh, with a glow in them that people love. So go check that out. All right. So this surface hangs beautifully. This is a hottest trend this year. We have these in stock. So please order before they're sold out. And then this gorgeous 12 by 12. Now this could be a server for your table, like a charcuterie board, or if you put a good sealer on it. Or it can be, I did um, reindeer and poinsettias and all in that packet. So these are under, look under surfaces and they're killer prices and you get 20% off. So um, just through tonight, just through tonight, remember these, these prices, um, we got a lot more people on now. So there's your prices, 20% off. Okay. So let me show you the kit special that we have today. All right, so you're going to get, this is called the A to Z of one stroke painting, and I'm going to demonstrate it for you, and we're going to put it on these gallery glass surfaces, okay? So we have this A to Z, it's a wood case that holds five brushes, I lost my liner, <laughs> it's here somewhere. All right, so you get my half inch scruffy three quarter, 12 flats, and you get the angle brush, and this is a 5 8 angle plus a two script liner. All of these are inside this box. So then I want you to see that's what I'm going to do, painting those flowers with you. But I want you to see that inside here are 50, 50 A to Z flowers. All right. So all kinds of flowers that will blow you away that you can paint. And just think about this. If you have somebody out there that you'd like to give something for Christmas, Amanda is the best. Uh, she's always so patient and helpful. <laughs> All right. So what I want you to see is on this side is what you're going to learn to paint. And then on this side, I take you step by step, even here where I'm showing you how to blend it to get the right color on your brush. And so, so we have fuchsia and pansy and I got some of these upside down, forget me nods and queen Anne's lace and dogwood. And we have roses, a couple different roses, asters, poppies, sunflowers. So listen, not only are you learning these flowers, but you learn the leaves that go with me. Look how pretty the tulips are. So these are reusable teaching guides. So they have a UV coating on it. So you paint on it, wipe it off and paint again. Okay. And I tell you to make a little eraser which I had an eraser right here. All right, so a wild rose and that cabbage rose. Look at that pretty wisteria hanging. So anyway, 50 different flowers. So if you have somebody out there, like a grandchild or somebody who you always, uh, that always wanted to paint or they're very creative, this is a perfect gift when you get 20% off. And I'm telling you, they are all in stock. We have a big load of them in stock that we just got in. So we can ship them out to you this week. So you'll guarantee you'll have it. You'll be excited to get it. We post on there when they're not available anymore, but we have a lot of them right now. So that's why Mark said through tonight only, you're going to get that 20% off. So if you want to participate, I've got to tell you what you do. I'm going to, not only this, the kit has the box, the five brushes, the 50 guides, and you get all 10 of these paints and you get floating, floating medium, which is a clear that I use instead of water. That's how we have creamy, luscious, beautiful strokes. A to Z is perfect for learning flowers. Flowers are what my most popular thing is that people want to paint flowers with me. And with most te painting techniques, flowers are the most difficult. With one stroke is the first thing we start with. And then we go to landscapes and gnomes and Santas and dogs and all kinds of other stuff. So not only do you get all that, but on the um, plaid craft the paint company with donna dewberry with plaid crafts on youtube on plaid's youtube site all 50 of these lessons for every one of these guides is for free right there on plaid's website on youtube okay so go check it out and 
Um, if you get it, if you're getting all this directly from me, we give you discounts and we teach you and help you learn how to make this all possible for you. So don't go away. We're going to come back and do that. But I want to share a couple of other things with you. So when I'm painting, like here's one of the flowers you learn. And I paint, painted it on right here. Do you see that? Yeah. There's a chrysanthemum. And I'm going to paint some other flowers with you today. Now, one of the things that people love is that they love um, to do pretty backgrounds. So I want you to see that I have different um, stencils that I've created myself. So look at this one. So this is, see the gold in the background on paper. It looks really beautiful on canvas and wood. But that is my wreath and it's full of leaves. And here's some, <coughs> some of those flowers and leaves that you'll learn with the A to Z. <coughs> oh my goodness. I should have brought water in here. Here's, a, here's another one with the wreath. Especially for you guys, you're like, I don't know where to put the leaves. And I'm not sure. I see all the different colors. That's the wreath. And then I just painted A to Z flowers on top. Okay. So let me show you some others. Um, this is my, so that's wreath. It's leaf wreath. Okay. And this is, just go look. You can see them right on our website. Remember, you get 20% off till tonight at midnight. All right, here's the Paris stencil. It says vintage, it has big stamps on it, and Paris has got a, an Eiffel Tower and other things. I want to show you also, this is my jar stencil. So I do all kinds of pa um, painting packets that have different jars for every season full of flowers, like a whole shelf of them. So I took a really quick project, and this is on uh, One Stroke Advantage if you want to learn this. It is two different jars, or maybe this was Patreon, <laughs> I'm not sure. And I took the round like perfume bottle and made it a snow globe, all right? So see how fun that is? Quick and easy. Yeah, any discount joining Patreon, that's my Christmas gift. Uh, I, I don't handle all that. Um, Patreon, just like YouTube, they do it all, and we can't do any kind of we can't do any offerings like that, but sorry, Holly. All right. So, and then here's another one that I'm going to show you. See these right there? The backgrounds make things wonderful. This is the um, cherry blossom stencil that I'm going to show you in a minute. And so I just took a um, two by eight and I have tall two by fours and two by eights. And I do three and, you know, three different heights. And these were, we did lots of classes and sold lots of these at the shows. And that's just one project that I like to do. Okay. So let me show you. Be kind. I do a bumblebee. That's on my stencil. Look at this. See that bumblebee? Look at all that detail. That happens in two strokes. All right. So here it is. See the bumblebee? All right, so it has a big and a li little, large and small, and the big bumblebee side view. And it has be kind, humble, and kind. So you can put the bee if, instead of the word bee. And I, I made those for pinners because they were so fun. That's one of my best sellers. And that wreath I just told you about. Books. So books are hard to get the pages and the spine and the dimension. And I made this a high stack of these, but I do have small for, for paintings where you want to buy a vase with a teacup on it or I do bigger books. And you can also lift this and make it into a box. So that's kind of fun too. So here's the jar stencil, bottles and jars. All right. Then here is the bird. So if you want to see where the wings go, where the tummy is, where the, the neck is. And I did that row of birds and then I broke them up and made them bigger so that you can just put that in there. We've even made that into a parrot before. All right. Hello, Jan. Just ordering more stencils. That's good. Uh, this is an all-time favorite. I put this on aprons and all kinds of fun things, but I dig a light blue background for snowy uh, different paintings. And then I put these really faded 
and white. Some are really close and they're real detailed and some are way back and they're, they're really uh, faded. So that's a fun one. All right. So while I, while I got this, I want you to see this is the other chain. And they come just like this if you're looking for them as a surface. All right. And I'm going to put this down. Now, I'm going to tell you this, that this is sold out. But I ordered, they're coming in in a week. So if you're willing to wait, this one sold out like crazy. We had 50 of them and they went like in one week. So it's a Cardinal with Holly. And it's a six by six. So go check that out. Best selling stencils. I'm going to show you now. This is Buffalo plaid. And you can tell I'm really good at cleaning stencils. <laughs> Buffalo plaid. And I use this even. All right. So that's 12 by 12 Buffalo plaid, a little bit bigger. And here's the smaller one, which is a 16 and a half by um, six. But this is the same price, but this um, is a longer one. So you can see that I, I did pastels. That was Easter or I did it for baby showers. I want you to know that this is a nice stripe of a Buffalo plaid and it's smaller than the big one. And then I've even put this right over it or I done the bottom with the Buffalo plaid and I put the Merry Christmas above it. So this is really good on the shirt. I put Mary in the center and put Christmas underneath and put poinsettias and stuff on the shirt. Best selling stencil um, besides those is cherry blossom. All right. And you'll see that that's what I did on the wood. That's what I did on all kinds of different things. And so I just had, the fence. Where did I, did I show y'all a fence? I thought I had, but this one right here, snowy cabin, this is where I'm starting. All right. So see where, you know, where the snow is going to go. Then I put this back on and I stencil again and it shows white where it divides it. All right. I stencil on white everywhere where, see where the green is. Then I go and I pounce on all the green. And then I, when it dries, I put that back on and it's snow on top of the trees all right so we got a red cabin and red fence in front of here i swear did i just show you all my fence i don't think so i don't know where it went oh yeah here. this red fence this fence goes with the clothesline or it goes with this or just paint wildflowers and put the fence in front of it all right so let me show you the other one here is that bird stencil okay that's the small bird so you can do bigger ones and so there's my cabbage roses, but in the back of this, not only is a bird stencil, but that's the music stencil. All right. And it comes in this size. All right. The big long ones. All right. And so you just move it around. It's really good when you're stenciling to fade out some and do some that aren't faded. All right. And so we got a few more people that came on through midnight tonight. Use this discount. Uh, code and you and anything over fifty dollars you're going to get twenty percent off. All right, so let me share with you that this is my new butterfly stencil. So y'all got to help me prove Mark wrong. My husband said I could only do one. I said they're going to sell like crazy, so I did both because one wasn't enough butterflies. Now the reason I did this is so many people said Donna, I can do one side of the wing. I never can match it on the other side of the wing. And so they wanted the monarch, 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 and smaller monarch. Okay. So then I have this flower, this one, and this one I just showed you. So small, lar large, medium, small. And then this is a side view. So that's butterflies. And this is butterfly and dragonflies. Okay. So I ordered both. I know. Thank y'all. So I can prove to Amanda and Mark that I was right. <laughs> so all side views. Then this big butterfly has a smaller one and here's a side view of it. And then this one has a wing down. This wing's coming towards you. So you shade shadow on one side. And then all these are my dragonflies. All right. All right. So, and you saw how I did, I was showing you, see how I do this. Now I take white and I do the, the wing. And at the same time, I put some yellow right in the middle. So I lift it up and then I fill that all in with yellow with a little bit of Pueblo. 
let I blow dry it. Then I put it on there and I do all black. And look at the legs. Look at all that detail. That's nothing but a stencil. How cool is that? And so that's exactly what happens with my butterflies. All right. So here they are. This is on the gallery glass surface. But so I stencil it all white. So you can probably see the white on the back. All right. So then that left every one of these designs are white for you. So then you put the shading like an ombre shading you want because people say I can do the inside of this and get pretty shading. But then I can't get them even. And they're the same because they are exactly um, mimic each other. So then I came in here with a little light gray. All right. And at the same time, I put licorice and licorice on the edges. And there you are. So this is 100 percent stenciled except the pink and all in the middle. And here is what you do is you take a pencil and you just go around and draw the outside shape and any of the shape you want in there with the pencil. And then you paint it and then you take your black outlining around it. All right. So. The stencil is multi-purpose. You can use it each way. All right. So I think that was a lot. Stencil brushes make your life wonderful. Go look at that demonstration right on my YouTube. It was yesterday, Friday, Friday. And it will show you how exactly to do those butterflies. Okay. No. Oh, I can't read Spanish. I'm sorry. I wish my grandson was here. He'd tell me everything. <laughs> He went on a two-year mission to Mexico City. I love it. All right. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy with the A to Z kit oops, that I painted these. But look what happens. I painted greeting cards to go with them. Okay. All right. And I painted the pansy and this. So we need to paint something else. Okay. So here they are. Right there. Right there. All right. So... I'm telling you, this is my deal. I think that you um, ought to know one more thing. Will the identipen work on these? Yes. Yes. So let me share something with you. You got to let it totally dry. You can draw it on with the identipen. But um, if you're using the identipen for your fine detail, you got to let it totally dry or you'll wreck the identipen. All the paint has to be totally dry, honey, if that's what you meant. Butterflies are my thing. I need to get those in the cherry blossoms. Yeah, you'll love it because those really work for you. Um, I'm going to show you there. I think we have some more on order. Where did that wood go? Oh, here. See, I put the miniature cherry blossom um, six by six behind him. Okay, so what I want to share with you, that's really important, all right? And then I'm going to start painting. That's, that's how I get more people to stay is if I paint. All right. So when you go put your code in, do not check out and pay unless your code's in there because we can't fix it. It's a YouTube thing. It's not us. All right. So when you say it's the first time I ordered, I made a mistake. We can't fix it for you. I'm so sorry. We can't take it off. We can't do any of that. So when you get ready to check out, look for where it says discounts or codes. And that's where you're going to put 9, 10, 50, 11. So one stroke.com, if there's 20% off anything, $50 or more. All right. And, and the total. All right. So it expires tonight at midnight, tonight at midnight. It is, if you're watching this later, this is the 25th today. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my paints and I'll show you. These are some of the colors that we're in. Where is my paint? Oh, here it is. I'm going to show you, besides all the fun stuff that I was just sharing with you, let's take our kit and find out what we want to paint. Well, then, all right. So I'm going to pick out just a couple others. I'm not using my brand new brushes because I need to bring me a set here and I lost my liners. Okay, so if you're out there and let's see. You can do a tulip. Sunflowers are really popular. We have dogwood. I can do a little bit of wisteria. Let's see what else we can do. We're looking at different ones. See how I think those wisteria are pretty. Okay. I have used these so much. I've got paint all over them. Uh, carnations, hollyhocks. 
All right, so there's pretty irises. <clears throat> I might have time to do some of those too. We got hydrangeas, they're very popular. Geraniums, those are a lot like those. They're pretty, see all the steps. And look how fancy that leaf is. And you can do all this, that's what's beautiful. One stroke helps you from a daisy <clears throat> to an iris to make all these pretty flowers and look at them all together. Isn't that fun? And you can do this too. So I really like sharing with you what, what we come up with, a quality kit. I think they're like $63.95 or something. And then you take off your 20% and, and that's off each thing you order, okay? And that's this one um, is a bigger discount than most of our discounts because um, I usually do like $10 off um, and order this 50 or more. All right, so let's turn the camera so I can start painting. Okay, so we're going to get right there. And be sure that you watch when you can the whole, go back and watch it if you didn't get this at all, because what happens is we have, uh, let me see. I think, am I, I'm upside down first. <laughs> Just give me a minute. So I'm going to flip around. All right, so am I right-handed? I just need to know if I'm right-handed, if you guys will help me here. Okay. It takes you all a few minutes to tell me, so. Oops. All right, so. You're going to get all the paint, the brushes, to do everything except you need the surface. All right, am I right-handed here, guys, if I've got my paintbrush? All right, am I right-handed or lefty? I'm left. Thank you, JJ. I appreciate that. Okay, so there we go. All right, now I'll be right-handed. Butterflies are your favorite thing. That's cool. Just ordered more stencil, and Thank you. All right, so let's pick this up, and I'm going to do, I don't have, I usually do my, um, envelopes too but all i'm finding are greeting cards okay so here we go now they come in plastic like this you just peel the plastic off each one all right and they come in sets of three all right when you're going to the side and look how big the round ones are they're really big all right so what we're going to do these are ovals all right and I'm going to, the first one that we're going to do, I guess I'm just going to pick it out. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going, I'm just using regular brushes. All right. So it tells you the first one, second, third. And so that's the first one in the background. This was with a three quarter. So I'm going to go get my three quarter. All right, these aren't the pretty ones, the pretty brushes from the kit, just to let you know. All right, so that's what we're going to paint, right? Hello from Missouri. All right, just remember, I'm going to be painting on both of this, the sun catcher or ornament and the card. All right, so let's pick up this rose. All right. <clears throat> going to go back and forth, back and forth, picking up colors. Okay. This is A to Z of one stroke painting. And it's pretty amazing that you can make this happen so quick. All right. So you're going to practice. You're going to stroke here to see if it, it is getting you that color. And to get that color, I really worked it in because I wanted a light, light, light. So I could pick up some more white, pick up white over here, and you just work it in until you get a light, light pink. Now on this, you can see that I have it on the outside, right? You could put the disc on the card, on top of the card. Yes, you could. That's a good idea. All right, so I want you to see that I am going to put these on the outside. I'm still a little darker. All right. But you can sit there in your double loader and make them. Um, remember the double loaders are on sale too. 
All right, so we got the palette, the double odor, and the brush caddy basin. Okay, so you can go back on anything that you're not happy with to make it lighter if you want to do that. All right, now you can flip it two ways. You can have white on the outside or pink on the outside. All right, so what's going to happen here, I'm going to get me medium on this because we're on paper. All right, so, and I can also kind of do this design. All right, so we're going to do half the card. Okay. And we're going to come right there. All right, so then I'm going to come in here again. All my lives during December, I'm going to be doing a lot of holiday painting. Um, but right now, I wanted to share the A to Z with you. And the great thing is, if you learn how to do these strokes, you can do all kinds of flowers. Whether they be holiday flowers or year-round flowers. All right, now look what happens if I put the white on the outside. And at the same time I'm doing this, I do my gift bag. Or I do the card that this is going to, the envelope that this is going to go into. All right, so you just learn how to make each one of those strokes on the guide, and then you come and you paint with them. Well, then we're going to go down and do the leaf, okay? So when we're doing this leaf, it's going to share with you what colors we use. So it's a 12 flat, and we're going to get some sap and citrus green right here, and we're going to work this in. Okay, let me move it right here. All right, citrus and sap right here. We split the brush and then we come here and then we work it in. And you want to work it into the brush, okay? Now, what happens on the plexiglass, I don't add medium, all right? And I want you to see I put magenta into the magenta color. These are all multi-surface paints, which means it can go on indoor, outdoor, metal, glass, ceramic. Um, you can bake it in the oven if you want it on your glass. Indoor, outdoor, it's got a sealer in it, makes it really nice. All right, so I want you to see that you practice the leaf on here. And I had a little eraser here somewhere. Here we go. Look, you're going to practice it here. First of all, you put it right here to see if you got the right color. And then you're going to practice right here and on this side. And then you're going to take and pull the stem in the middle. And then you're going to wipe it off and practice again. Now, you have to wipe it pretty quick because this paint's made to stay on. <laughs> and so you won't get it off if you wait too long, okay? So, all right. So I'm going to come right here. And we're going to pick up more paint. All right. When you're doing glass, you just want to make sure that you load lots of paint. All right. And then you pull your stem in there. Okay. So we can pick up some more. Do one, two, maybe three. All right. Now I have this new heat pen. That's really awesome. Instead of a blow dryer, it stays focused right here. And you can dry this really quick with this heat pen. And you get 20% off this, and we just got them in stock. So be sure to pick up your heat pen. And you notice I can talk while it's on. Hi, Lucy. And the Okay, so I like to dry that. This paper dries real fast on its own. Now look, you can put any colors that you want in these, right? So this was just lots of paint on here. And then I did a different leaf instead of I, these scrolls right here. I did the same scrolls for the leaves. Okay, so now look what happens. I'm going to take... And I'm going to get citrus and sap again. And then I put magenta on the sap to 
to get it a brown tone a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna let's let's look at the other side of this. There we go. I'm going to see how this is gonna look. Like I can put a little bit of the green on the outside, the darker green, I mean. And on this side, I can just use a citrus. All right, and we pull a stem into there. And I can put in a couple little strokes. All right. So I can put the citrus on the outside of both of these strokes. Okay. Some of you are painting a class with me tonight. Don't forget, we have a class if you're a member of the Hydrangea One Stroke Advantage. We're doing big landscape that I'll be posting on our Facebook group. Be sure that you join if you're not a member of my YouTube group, please subscribe and even join our membership if you want to get into painting and would like to learn a lot more okay so what's going to happen here now is i'm going to take the liner brush and i want to where do we put this right here i'm going to take yellow all right and look we're going to take and pull these yellow strokes all the way around Okay, with a two script liner, all the brushes come in this kit, A to Z of one stroke painting, come on and join us while we have them in stock, all right, I'm going to go right here along, so what we do is we practice the strokes, my guides have my exact stroke size, so you're practicing on there with me, like I'm right at home with you doing it. You have the video for free that comes with it. And then you have all the supplies, tools, and everything but your surfaces. But you can literally grab paper and practice. So what I encourage y'all to do, there's 50 flowers. So when you're first learning, I think it's really fun to do... Um, two flowers a week. So if you work on two flowers a week where you feel good, you can pick a couple that look pretty together and paint them together. Um, or these are great to teach if you guys are teaching for me because um, we love to have new teachers. All right, so look, I'm just going to come all the way around here and dot these all the way around. You can use your little kiss tool or the handle of the brush. The kiss tool, um, I keep losing if it's here or on my dining room table where I'm painting. <laughs> okay, so see how pretty that looks? All right. And it's a quick and easy flower, but the more flowers you do, the more you learn uh, different flower shapes. So you can look at any flower and be able to paint it when you know the basics of how to do them. All right, so... See how it just makes it really pretty. Now, um, I'm going to pick this up. And what I usually do is I tap my little finger because this holds it up. And it doesn't smash it. So you just tap, 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 tap my little finger so it doesn't smash down the tip of the brush. Okay. And so that's how I teach. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I want you to see that we're going all the way around. Tap, 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 tap. I think we got a lot of people out shopping. I unfortunately went out by accident yesterday, forgetting <clears throat> that was going to be crazy at Hobby Lobby. All right, so there you go. So all you do is pick out what you want to learn and then put it together and make a really pretty painting. So there's this one from here. Then you've got the pansy. The pansy is the same brush and the same stroke we used here. All right. What time is the class tonight? 5 p.m. 5 p.m. And it's um, the hydrangea level. Okay. So right here. 
All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just smeared this. I put my arm right into it. But because the card's dry, can you see that? The paints go right into it, dry really fast. Okay, so we're going to come right in here. All the classes are recorded, so if you don't get to see them right then, you can go see them later, okay? So there we are. I hope I inspired you. I'm going to um, put this to the side, and I just thought to end this up, I would paint some more flowers on a piece of art paper with the colors that are in the kit. I love doing these sun catchers. They're fun. I also have floating medium and brush plus and an eight ounce. And while you're getting some other things that might help you go over that $50 so that you can get that 20% off guys. All right. So make sure you put the code in. This is only get through tonight. I don't know where I put it now. It is. <laughs> All right. Let's go back and watch this. I think it's nine. I'm not going to see it out well because I'll probably be wrong. All right. I had it right here. Just be sure you watch it. Okay. Um, and then you can put the code up. All right. So I am going to come in here and show you no matter what size you use in the teaching guide, you can then come back and grow your flats up to the size you want it to be. Okay. So we're going to come right here in our double loader. All right, so this is the first flower. So you practice it on the back and then you put it on there. Just need to find the money to get it. Okay, <laughs> I, I get that, especially when we've got holidays. Uh, I was trying to get a good deal on lights yesterday. And of course, that's the only thing they didn't do 50% on. Okay, so I'm going to do it up here. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, if you're looking at the guide, you're going to go up with the first stroke. Okay, that's number one. And you practice it right there. And we use a 12 on here. Okay. So this is a perfect time to tell your family and your friends, if you really want to get me a gift for Christmas, there's a super special right now. And y'all can get it and put it aside for me. <laughs> Uh, um, or, you, or you get it for yourself and you can paint all kinds of gifts by Christmas. All right. So then I'm going to come in here and get some more paint. So I'm just picking up a little bit more. And on paper, you might want to go into the medium. So you dip in the medium and then you go back here and work it back in. And you want it to feel like butter when you're stroking, guys. All right. So what you're going to do here is I'm going to come out here. All right. And push and come back up and out here. Now on this one, I did three below too. Okay. But I have just done two before. All right. But I'm going to have to redo this one a little bit longer. There we go. And then roll it. All right. So we'll do that <clears throat> and we will. So tell me, are you like anything I'm sharing with you? I'm excited to find out if it's something you would like to learn and how fun it's going to be when you get your kitten. Thanks for the time in class tonight. I'll be ready. Thank you. I'll be ready too. All right. Here's your citrus and sap. It's always on the calendar on our Facebook group. We always keep the calendar there that Teresa makes us <clears throat> to share with you where I'm teaching and how which classes and times for the whole month, okay? All right, so look, I'm going to come here and push down and stand up and slide, all right? Now, I usually have Christmas on right now. We got through Thanksgiving, but I wanted you to see 
A to Z kit for one stroke painting is 20% off till midnight tonight. <clears throat> so I want you to see what you can do with your teaching guys that you're going to have in this kit. There's 50 of them, 50, 50 lessons and five brushes and 10 paints, all the paints you need for all the flowers in the kit and floating medium and a box that they're in. All right, so I'm going to tap, tap, tap. Okay. And I can even tap it up to right in here. Tap, tap with the corner of the brush. Okay, so then I take white. I'll tap some white in here. Right up here, down here. All right, so there's our iris. So we put that to the side. Let's do a cabbage rose down here. So I'm just going to wipe my brush. We're going to still keep painting because I like it sometime when it has all the color in it. So I'm splitting my brush on the double loader. I go to an empty space and work it in. Oops. Work it in. I can also just do this color with the white or I can grab yellow since I have yellow in the other flowers. All right. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to turn it around and you're going to see each step. You practice a step. And we used a 12 flat to practice, but then I'm going to move it up to a three quarter. All right. So you're going to go just like this and you're going to make your skirt, the outside skirt. Oops. All right. So what I'm doing wrong, I'm just going to show you. If I stay out here, I don't bring the pink from down there. So I got to stay out here. All right, so I'm going to stay here and here. All right, so then I'm going to keep going right here. And I'm going to come right in here. So let's make the bud head that the center head to the left. And then I'm going to make a U. All right, so let's pick up the colors. Okay, let's make that stronger. Then I'm going to come right around. Okay, we just keep going right in that track where we're loaded. Okay. All right, you see how pretty those colors are going to be? A little bit of yellow. All right, so I'm right up here. I lean out a little bit, come across, come across, and across and across all right so we have roses and thank you holly too all right so i can come up here and don't push down very much when we're doing a bud we'll just put some leaves underneath this okay all right so then let's see what else we can do let's do a geranium and hydrangea are a lot alike let me show you how I do this. I'm going to take a 12 flat and I'm going to put some blues in here. So look what I can do. I can put some blue and I can do some purple. Okay, and then I can do some pink. Okay, I can also just come out here with a little bit of that color there, which is all three colors, kind of. Okay, and see, you can pounce this with a scruffy, the whole thing, and then just go on top of it. I'm squishing it with this, but I want you to see that then I'm going to come over here and I'm picking up the blue right here, blue and white, and I got to go work it in. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to come right here and I can pick up purple sometimes too. All right. Or the pink. All 
All right, so let's pick up here. We have the pink. Isn't that kind of fun? All right, so watch this. I'm going to push and lift. Push, push, push along the outside edge. Push, push. So pushing, watch. If you push down, it pushes the brush out, pushes the brush out, and then it comes back. So let me get closer so you can see that. All right, so I've got some purple now. So I'm going to come right in here and pick up some white. So now push, push. So I'm going to come right in here. All right. See how we're making all that? Now, by the time you learn all these different flowers, you can see that this helps you be able to do the geranium. And then the sunflower helps you be able to do leaves because all the petals are like a one-stroke leaf. All right, so we have all these pretty colors that are in there. And now I'm going to pick up some, some green citrus and sap. And then I'm going to come all around here pick those up so now if you bring the green over and the citrus over when and maybe even some pink i want you to see that that puts it back there so you can load it but you just pull it over with the side of your brush okay all right now i like to come in here and just get this leaf right here. Let's put a little bit of white with the citrus. Look. All right, so we're going to come right up here. And then we pull a stem in the middle. All right, so... I'll just pick up some green. There you go. All right, we're going to come in here with some. All right, so. All right, so I'm going to come in here. wiggle it down and we're going to come out here wiggle that down pull a stem but look what happens when you put some of that that pink on the outside edge so i do white and some pink and some citrus okay I think it makes it really pretty. See, and the other thing that you can use is you can do just medium and look. I'm doing some shadow leaves where you're just using the floating medium. All right, let's put all these little leaves in here in different colors. All right, and just pick up. Thank you. So, and then you can have real simple on the wreath. Um, Stencil, I have real simple butterflies like this. Okay, so I'm going to come right here. One, 
two, chisel, daisy, chisel, daisy. And then I'm going to take the sap green for the body with a two script liner. Push and you lift. All right. And this one, he's flying away. Okay. So what do y'all think? <laughs> Twice today. Well, thank you guys. <coughs> I hope you have a great weekend. And think about what you're blessed for. If you didn't think about it on Thanksgiving Day, it's a good day to, to reminisce and think about the things that you're so blessed for and be the light in people's life. We all need a little bit of light and we need to share that with others. All right, so A to Z. We got some new people that just came on. Just letting you know this A to Z box comes with five brushes. The box that stores them in 50 teaching guides that are reusable. You wipe them off and use them again. And all 10 paints, floating medium, and everything that you need except the surface is in this kit. And you get all 50 lessons on YouTube. Okay, so how fun is this? And with this deal today, if you look back on the site here, I had the code. I'm looking one more time for the code. And I had the code here that gave you, here it is. This is what you get. Through midnight tonight, you're getting 20% off anything $50 or more in your invoice that comes to the $50 or more. Okay, guys? And these kits are all in stock, ready to ship out for the holidays. And you put in, when you sh when you check out, do not pay until you put 9, 1, 9, 10, 50, 11 to get this through midnight tonight, till midnight tonight. Okay? Hope you like this. And I'll see you next time. Next week, we'll be doing Christmas. Bye-bye.